All right, friends. Hello. I'm going to teach you the tape diagram method with subtraction. Are you ready for your mind to go? Poof? Like I said, we are learning a lot of different strategies and then you are going to figure out your best and favorite one. So if this one is not your favorite, that's okay. This one is not my favorite and I still find it kind of confusing. So that's why I'm going to really break it down and do it in super simple terms so that you can see this because there's still a part of me that I'm like, that just doesn't make sense, but it does. Okay. So first I'm going to show you a subtraction problem where we're going to draw a picture, just kind of simple, basic terms. So if I have 23 and I want to take away nine, okay, I have to show my work. I don't care about the answer. I care a whole lot more about the work. Okay. So I am going to do this in simple terms. We're going to draw a picture of 23 and I'm going to take away my nine. Okay. What gets complicated about this is I don't have nine ones to take away. So I have to borrow one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I made 10 because I had one stick of 10 and then I decomposed it to make 10 ones, which is the same. Well, now I have nine ones to get rid of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, see how that equals 14? Okay, we know that that equals 14. All right, this is the tape diagram, which gets super weird. So I'm gonna draw it, and instead of drawing mine together, I'm gonna draw mine on top of each other. And you'll see this on your in your book, and you'll see this on page 60 with a different problem, okay? But I have a number that is super close to a landmark number. It has to be this number to make it easy, okay? So my nine is only one away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one here to make this a 10. And then what I do down here, I have to do the same here. So I'm gonna add one here and that makes this number 24. Okay, I'm gonna cross that off and make it by 10. Well, now my new equation that I have is 24 minus 10. And I can do that in my head because 10 is a landmark number. And I know that based off of my hundreds chart, when I have 24, I just need to move a column and that's going to get me 14. Okay. See how this problem is the same as this problem, but this one was a lot easier for us to do because we made our nine, our second number, a landmark number. Okay. So let's do another one. My board is probably super dirty because I use my hand and then my hand gets super dirty. Isn't that gross? All right, let's do 33 minus 19. I'm not going to draw that out because that's going to take me a really long time. Okay. If that's going to get you the right answer and you're still on that strategy, that's fine. Okay. My goal is that you can start doing some of this in your noggin without drawing it. All right. So here I have my 33 and I'm going to make it and then I'm going to take away my 19 and I'm going to make it. Okay. And then this one's one away from a landmark number. So what I have to do here, I'm going to add that to make it 20 and then I'm going to add one here to make it 34. So now my new equation is 34 minus 20 and we know on our hundreds chart when we have 34 if I just hop up 10 20 then that's gonna get me 14 okay so this is the tape diagram with subtraction watch it a couple times practice it on your own okay and then do the pages that you did yesterday your 51 to 60 one, I think I'm off on my page. Let me check. 50, woo, good thing I looked. 57 to 61, and today you're doing the subtraction problems, okay? Try your best with those, all right? I will see you at group. Good luck, my friends.